Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am doing a dressing table makeover today. Um, my old dressing table um, I actually ended up giving to my son and renovating it for his teenage bedroom um, makeover. If you haven't seen it, check that out after this video. Um, but I have been wanting to do something with this piece of furniture. It's for one thing, it's too short. I want to be able to stand up um, and do my makeup. Um, and secondly, it hasn't quite got all the storage that I need. So I'm going to make it taller. I'm going to paint it. I'm gonna put new handles on it and give it a real change. It's quite a deep area and it's become a bit of a dumping ground, toys. Um, uh, for, so for my makeup, I've got a basket of other bits and pieces that I do use. Um, but then again, general dumping area, top trumps. Um, and as I say, a lot of the, the actual storage, it, it does, just doesn't work. I don't have enough storage. Um, I've ended up having a box down here of other things. So this needs sorting. I do apologise right now for the rest of the mess. This is all of Emily's home education stuff that needs a real sort out that is going today. So this is the piece of furniture that I am going to be um, making over. This is how the dressing table is now looking. Um, it's all been painted and I've added the legs. Um, I have added some more filler in here um, and I'm gonna give them another coat of paint. They're not, well, they're not perfect, but um, they are what I wanted. 
the idea is that I wanted to be able to either have another drawer or have some sort of basket or pull out box underneath. So I'm definitely getting also the height that I wanted. So I want to be able to stand up while I do my makeup. The next job is that I want to just tidy up the paintwork um, on the legs um, and then I want to varnish um, the top. So this is um, my final draw unit. Like I showed you, I've added those longer legs. I've got that extra bit of height and I'm going to be looking for either a basket or I'll be making a drawer to go under there. Um, it's taller so that I can stand now to do my makeup, which was what um, I wanted. Emily is groaning about that because um, she wanted to also stand at my dressing table. Um, just showing you the drawers. I won't show you them all because the, the two bottom ones are where I've just set out all of my clothes. I've had a declutter. I've folded everything. I could probably declutter a few more things, but that's all I'm doing at the moment. And then the top drawer, I'm really pleased with this. Um, I did keep the first divider um, and I've threaded the electrics through from the back. Um, now this is switched off all of the time, apart from when I want to use my hairdryer. I just turn it on at the wall um, down here um, and then I can use my hairdryer um, I usually keep the drawer slightly open and then I can easily just put my hairdryer um, back in. Um, over here I decided not to use that other divider because I wanted to use these IKEA boxes. I think they've worked out really well, so I've got my perfumes, my hair things, some sort of beauty things, sort of extra bits of makeup and things like that in here and that's all been organised well. Um, so that brings me joy when I open that drawer and the top um, it was very simple, I just sanded it and then I've, I've varnished it with a dark oak stain. And I don't know, I've, I've shown you this before, but I have all my makeup on a Lazy Susan. I've had this for a few years um, and I just find this a really, really easy way. Um, I don't really have that much makeup, um, but it's just a really easy way. Um, thank you, Emily, <laughs> of storing um, all um, of my makeup easily. Um, all the things that I generally use every day. I'm um, going go on to here, so there we go. Really pleased with how it's turned out.